the pain like I'm Nagato. Got no father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? DTR from Tokyo. Diamonds whipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hello guys, my name is Nagato, and for today's tutorial, I'm basically going to be showing you guys on how to install Retro Arc. And basically how to play PlayStation 1 games on your PlayStation Vita by using uh yeah RetroArch. So first things first, I'm gonna always state my prerequisites in all videos. You basically need either a PlayStation Vita or PSTV that's on 3.60, 3. Point, or between 3.60 to 3.68. Um, either Hon Core, a Hankaku Enzo, uh, and basically just regular Hankaku. If you, you know, just to run on signed code because that's what we need. Uh, basically, you need the latest version of Vita Shell and you need the auto plugin or not auto plugin, excuse me, but you basically need Retro Arc installed. And then I'm basically going to show you how to FTP games, get certain files that we need. And then, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started with this. So, first things first, we're going to go to your PC and then you want to go ahead and open up a web browser. So, Go ahead and just type retro arc. I spelled that wrong, but let me go ahead. Go ahead and click download. And then basically go ahead and find PlayStation Vita. They retro arc basically. Um, if y'all guys mostly know, it's an emulator that hosts a bunch of cores, so you could play like old SNES, NES games and you know a bunch of other systems from the past but in today's video we're just going to be focusing on the playstation 1 stuff but go ahead and click download and i think it's the 1.7 1.6 version there's 131 megabytes but from there i'm just going to uh cancel it since i already had it uh downloaded but go ahead to your downloads and then this is basically RetroArch here, so once you get that, you could just put that on your desktop real quick. And then what you want to go now to is go get some PlayStation 1, uh, the BIOS files, because this is what you also need. Um, I'm not going to leave any uh, links in the description to get these files. Just go ahead and type these two file names, ACPH1001 or 5500bin. And go ahead and just google it if you get these two files that's great they should be 512 kilobytes and it basically if you just click the first page of google you, you'll get the files i'm just not trying to get in trouble because this could get you know uh flagged or whatever because of having bios there are um sony copyrighted protected files but from there go ahead and get your game of your choice and what's better not to start this video with having one of the, like the best PlayStation 1 games and this game also is one of my personal favorites Crash Bandicoot and once you basically have these three files here um the PlayStation 1 BIOS your game of choice um I'm using Crash Bandicoot Retro Art now we could go straight back to the Vita so give me one second to switch over to OBS real quick so once you have those three files um, go ahead and boot up Vita shell and then from there either you can FTP or USB stuff over so in this case we're just gonna uh, FTP and then I'm gonna go straight back to the PC to show you guys how to FTP using FileZilla as always that's like my favorite choice I already have my FTP client already open from doing a video uh, literally two minutes ago but from here let me just drag this down Go ahead, I'll show y'all from the start. So go ahead and UX0. And then the first thing we want to go ahead and look at is go to your data folder in here. Um, You probably actually, hmm, wait, I actually reversed that. So don't focus on what I said just now. Because basically we need to install RetroArch first to get those uh the, all the RetroArch folders in. So basically what you want to do is go ahead and let me see real quick put this to the side showing it out go ahead and just copy retro arc over to your basically your vita from this so just go ahead and drag and drop and then also onto your vita go ahead and make a folder called whatever 
you where you want to put your PlayStation games. In my case, I just named it PlayStation One games, and then I just put Crash Bandicoot in here. Um, this may take a while depending on the size of your uh, game, so I recommend doing this method or the whole thing basically since on F or not FTPing by US being it's much faster depending on your internet speed. But once you basically did that, you want to go ahead and just minimize FileZilla real quick. And then you want to go back into OBS. Or not OBS, excuse me. Back onto your Vita. Go ahead and cancel the FTP server. And then from there, go ahead and scroll down and install your RetroArch VPK. Yeah, so go ahead and install RetroArch. Um, just like any other VPK. So once you do that and it install successfully, you should get it back on live area. Since I already have mine in live area, go ahead and click X. And you need to always like do this method so it can initially boot up to your um system. So once you get it to the main menu, you could go ahead and go back out. We just needed to do that so we could basically get a uh, retro arc to pop in the UX0 slash data folder. So from there, go ahead and run your FTP server again by cl uh, picking or clicking select. And then once you have that, and if you didn't close out FileZilla, go ahead and just straight up um, look at the data folder right now. And then from there, you wanna go to RetroArch. And then you wanna go to where it says system. And basically, this is your bio system for whatever, whatever, or basically for your bios for your PlayStation One stuff. So right there, I already have my bios. All you would have to do is once you get the bios, you download it from wherever online. Go ahead and just drag and drop from this directory. So the directory you want to drag and drop from is UX0 Data RetroArch System. Once you get that done, we're pretty much good to go. So you don't really have to focus on the uh, basically. The PC portion so once you made a folder wherever you want to put your Vita games from or whatnot then basically that's the method you could do it from all right so yeah once you already FTP that stuff over via USB then where you want to go or either USB or FTP where you want to go now to is out of Vita shell and then where you want to go to now is uh, not adrenaline but retro arc and then from retro arc once it pops up on your screen go ahead and click on load core and press circle and it will give you all the cores for the games for um, different uh you know retro systems so you got nes sega uh, neo geo zx spectrum but in the in this case we're going to just be looking at sony playstation psx or pcsx rearmed this is the same stuff that the playstation classic use surprisingly and basically sony just ran off with <laughs> using a free you know Emulator core to make a PlayStation Classic and rather using a official in-house emulator, which is a fun fact But anyways, once you got that uh, Set it up and done you want to go ahead and click load content and basically how to go through this is circle is basically X and X is uh, Reverse so where you want to go to now is UX zero or wherever you put your games at in this case mine's is PlayStation 1 games and then Crash Bandicoot and then go ahead and load up the first core it may take a second to boot up, but I'll play my volume through the microphone real quick. And as you see, that is Crash Bandicoot running in real time. And I'll just do a quick little gameplay of the game. So that's me jumping. It runs, you know, pretty smooth. It may be a little delayed via OBS, but other than that, there you go. Now you learn how to 
basically play PlayStation 1 games on your Vita. So now that you got that done, um, now you're feel free to, you know, basically play all your PlayStation 1 classics on either your PSTV or Vita. With that being said, my name is Nagato, and thank you for watching.